All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be some old videos from about 10, 12 years ago where I took a Stampede 4x4 and I converted it to a Ruster 4x4. So you'll see that in there. I did it converted. I converted it two ways and then you'll see it run um, as well. Now, Jane was the first one to do this about 14 years ago, as you see there. So I'll try to find a link to his Shapeshifter series where he took a Stampede 4x4 and converted it over. But this is kind of what I did. I did it right after he did it. I did it several times as well. So anyway, guys, this is going to be a compilation of the conversions I did for that and what all I did for that and a couple of running videos too so hope you like it hey guys jt here with a quick video of my rustler 4x4 4x4 uh jt style um you guys know that you could take a stampede 4x4 and kind of turn it into a rustler 4x4 excuse the mess so i'm kind of in the war room uh going through a couple of things with it so this is actually the Traxxas Rock and Roll Body. They stopped making this, but this is what came on the Brush Rustler um, yeah, about a year ago. So Traxxas changed it up. I wish they would have left this body because this body actually looked good. So, But this is on my LCG Stampede 4x4. You can see got the lights right there on the front and stuff. And got some new shoes on them. Got some Anacondas as well. Um this lcg chassis as you guys can kind of see right there it does fit a little bit different than the standard chassis so i should have probably mounted the body back a little bit more so they can kind of cover up the hole there and not kind of stick and flab out over there and then the rear of it as well it should probably go back just a little bit more but I'm going to kind of leave that as that is for now and then um, get some running on it. So I still have the uh, Arma BLX system in here with, I believe, a 14 tooth. I don't think it was a 15 tooth uh, pinion gear. And it's still running 32 pitch gears and a 54 spur. And I'm going to be running this on 3S. But I did want to, I've been telling you guys I was going to do it. And it's been taking me a minute to kind of get around to doing this right here because I did have to mount the bodies. It does have, let's go ahead and take this off real quick. Since we're here, get these body clips off and show you guys kind of what I did. I mounted a little bit different than I did the other ones in the past. Um, in the past, I would just uh, drill a hole, but I don't have the plastic shock towers on. I have the aluminum ones. So you can take the rear shock tower from the Stampede 4x4 and put that on the front, and it'll fit the body mounts for the stock rustler um, hose that are pre-drilled in here you will have to do some trimming though on this front as you guys see i kind of trimmed that there as well and then also um, the newer rustler get this to focus in does not come with the battery tray that's got these little um these pins where you stick this through there it actually has this quick release um flap right there so you will have to purchase those and put those on the body post if you want the body to be lowered down and like i said this is from the rear of the chassis now on or the rear of the a arms or shock towers so on the rear of it what i did was i just went ahead um, there's two screws in here that go on for the rear body mount that kind of fit here i just took that off because i want the body to sit lower and i just use as you guys see there put those on there as well and that helps keep it just a little bit lower. And then, of course, I just put two holes there in the rear of the body. You guys see there. That third hole is the original hole that comes for the two-wheel drive rustler. So um, I did this because um, some people have a Stampede 4x4 and they want to convert over. They don't want to have to buy a rustler 4x4. So this is going to run uh, just as fast as my rustler 4x4. Maybe we'll get out and get some running videos of the two together but i also wanted to make sure i had lights on as you guys see here um this does have lights and stuff on it which everybody wants lights on their car right it doesn't have any on the rear end but i may do some tail lights at some point but this is a you guys can see kind of how that's mounted in there traxxas sells this and they made this for the stampede 4x4 so anyway guys i wanted to um show this to you and of course the blx system that's in there so I wanted to kind of show this to you guys. Uh, the body fits a little bit tight and stuff, but I'll get that back on there in just a second. And see if it does sit up because it does fit kind of tight there. Put those body pins in it, in the rear of it, and we won't have that issue of it popping up. <laughs> there we go. So anyway, guys, wanted to show this to you. Uh, put your comments down below about this. And if you've done something similar, um, like I said, I'm not taking credit for converting a Stampede 4x4. I guess I'm the first one to 
Converter Stampede 4x4 to an LCG chassis. You guys have seen that run, and I'd be the first to convert it like this because it still has the um, shot guards on the front and on the rear for the uh, from the Stampede 4x4. So, Jane was the first one to do it. If you guys get a chance, check out Ultimate RC. He was the first one to take a Rustler, and he put a 4S system in our 8 scale system and ran on 4S and it flew. So, anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, JT here with a quick video to show you what I did to my Stampede 4x4. Yes, this is a Stampede 4x4. Um, basically, what I did was put the new Team Associated uh, T4.3 body on here. I like the paint scheme. and I actually like the way these bodies look. I like them a little bit better than the Traxxas Rustler body. Um, and of course, I have the Duratrax, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Picket um, short course tires and wheels, and I'll probably get the stadium truck ones to try to lower it down, maybe just a little bit. But basically, what I had to do was I used those same battery straps that I use sometimes on the um, body mounts that go on the top. I actually put those onto the side, and I'll show you guys in just a minute what I did to put those on there. But I wanted to show this to you guys real quick so you can see what this looks like. And now what I'll do is I'll take this off and I'll show you what I did on the inside. I'm still kind of doing some tweaks for it. But what I had to do was I had to drill some holes in here so that I can mount the body on the side. Now when you do this, you see that, get this at a better angle, that these screws are not sticking out too much. And the reason for that being is that the body or the battery is already a really tight fit in here. So if you screw these all the way in, they're going to stick out and they're going to stick and eventually puncture your battery. So you want to make sure that you don't screw these in all the way. And thus, that's the reason why I have, you know, those bolts on here, these nuts on here as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some foam. I have some foam that's taped on one side. And I'm just going to place this over top of this. It's still going to be a really tight fit for the battery. But I'd rather have that on than have a tight fit than for this or for the battery to puncture that. And I also did that for the other side. Now the other side you can actually screw it all the way in. See if I can get this light going. Screw this all the way in. You don't have to worry about it puncturing anything because um, there's nothing over there to puncture. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I did for this. And that's also another way if you guys want to lower your bodies on your Stampede 4x4s to get it the lowest look as possible that's a way and then for the body of course still working on this a little bit but since I had to drill holes so close down low to the edge of the body I went ahead and put some Gorilla Tape um, on there to keep this from ripping in case I flip or something and eventually what I'll do is as you see I did on this side these are the uh, Dan's uh, I forgot what the name of it is like Dan's uh, body spacer rings foamy thingies jiggas yeah i'll try to find a uh part link and put it in the description as well but i put these on here as well and i'll put some on the other side to keep it from ripping as much just in case i do happen to flip it so that's just the basis of what i did for this i said that i would try to get better at when i do these updates um to inform you guys of what i did and show you what i did i'm not trying to keep any secrets over here with my cars and stuff. I don't care if someone's car looks better than mine or beats mine. That's fine. I kind of want everyone's car to look better or get better than mine and see what you guys can do with this. But um, anyway, want to show this to you guys. Uh, I'll get some running videos up of this pretty soon. I am going to run this on uh, 3S and probably 2S as well periodically. But you see I have my castle system in there. This is the HPI 4000 KV motor. This motor, I, I just love this motor. And right now, I have a very mild gearing of 54 spur and a 13 pinion. Um, I'm going to play with that a little bit because I may, I may, I may um, try to see if I can hit over 80 miles per hour with my Stampede 4x4 with a 10 scale system. Um, I do believe it's possible. Um, I'm going to try to get the 54 two spur gear in here. And then I'm going to, or I'm sorry, the 52 spur gear in here. And then I'm going to gear this up to about a 18 to 22 pinion gear and get a long stretch. Just to see what kind of speed I can get on this without putting an 8 scale system in there. Because I still believe that you can get these up to 80 plus or more possibly 
on a 10 scale system. So uh, we'll have to see how that turns out. But anyway, as always, guys, don't forget to like or dislike, subscribe if you have not, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. A quick speed run of my uh, Rustler 4x4. I definitely need a sway bar, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the light bulb's dumping. <laughs> Do one more pass. Yep. Hey guys, a quick run of my um, converted uh, Stampede 4x4 to a Rustler 4x4. Only difference here is I changed out the tires and wheels. These are the Entergy tires and wheels that I put on there. I do like the way these tires look on here. The body's a little beat up, so I'll maybe look at getting another body a little bit later on. But um, anyways, went to get this running. I am running a 3S LiPo and it still has the stock gearing in it.
little bit more grip than I anticipated. <laughs> Well, I'm not trying to break it. There you guys go, quick run of this. Uh, don't forget to like or dislike and subscribe if you have not. Thanks for watching.